G'day nuclear enthusiasts and welcome back to episode 17 here on our journey through nuclearis and our shutting down of the reactor. Uh, normally, at least the first time, Xenon's kicked up quite a bit since the 9.64 value we had in the last episode. And it's come down a little bit as it was at 30.31 and it's now at 30.09. Very, very interesting. We're waiting to get AO to get a nice updated one of the maintenance analysis in the background. He's only at 10%, but I'd really like to know why this is still dropping. Like even if I add some to it, like we were before when we were operating, it was still dropping regardless of the temperature it is at at the moment, which it's only at about 18 degrees or roughly room temperature, the same as what our core is at as well. So that's now come up to value. As soon as I turn that off and it goes back down, this will then start dropping down once more. And instead of waiting AO to finish up with his maintenance analysis, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to that generator three itself and do a manual one and add that to the maintenance task to see if it is actually broken or if it actually does have any problems with it whatsoever. So let's just quickly go ahead and do the crab walk as normal. Upstairs, take it slow, take it slow. And that's that should be generator 03 there. I'll just walk in the middle of them like so. And get, nope, not that one. I Maintenance report, analyze. Yes, you can go ahead and pause and read that, but it costs you money to do this either way. Where through AO, it's completely free, okay? Didn't detect anything. Maybe I need to go down further. Just depends where its trigger is. There it is, electric turbine ID two. Two? No. That should be that one. It should, I only want this one. This should be three. This should be turbine three, this one. And yes, I know it's costing me a bit of money every time I do that, but that's fine by me. Maybe over here, near the valve. Hydraulic valve. Come over close to it. Loop three, there we go. Let's see if we can add that to the maintenance task. Finally saw it. Uh, electric turbine loop three so it is damaged ever so slightly at 11.71 percent and AO is about 33 percent so we saved a bit of time in doing that I'm not taking those stairs I'm going to take the elevator back down as we haven't really walked back to the elevator through this tunnel just yet there we go and one and I'm pretty sure the electrogen group this one here is our core itself and i don't think it'll let us do it unless it is completely removed by putting that to remove it'll drop the level of the external core coolant aka that visual water just there and there goes ao you go do your stuff dude all right let's go from right to left to make sure might as well open that so it's not always just set and forget uh, that will eventually, yep, still dropping even though the pump is turned off. And I'm going to set that to zero, just for the OCD sake. That's all off. I'll need to fix the transformers and then turn them back on. Oh, well, hopefully I won't forget. All of that's off. We're dumping some out. We've got a little bit more than where we normally start with, but that's fine. I can just maybe take some of that out with the RCV valve. All good here. Come on over here. OCD sake once more. Excellent. And I did almost forget to turn the external power supply back off. And if we go into our banking invoices, service invoices, we already clicked that button at the very start of the season. So we are, we are A-OK -okay by paying that. And then we can use that again next, even though we didn't really need it too much. Yes, obviously, you can shut down in any mode, but 
There we go. Now, let's see if it allows us to do it now. No, not just yet. Uh, I don't want to extract it from the core, even though it won't let me do it now, because we haven't gotten rid of all of the water out of the external vessel. But I don't want to swap the fuel over, because it is not necessary at all. But to do it, you tell Waste Storage 1, set, wait for the crane to do its thing, come on over here, get wait, oh, sorry, the extra fuel transport, or oh, the extra fuel block you start the game with, one, and set, and it will bring it back over. You can insert it in the core, all that good jazz, and continue on. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's all good. These are open. Let's make sure we have these closed, including the one behind us at the condenser, that we don't forget, as well as that one from the last episode. So now that's all closed. Let's close this one off. Uh, how's the external vessel? Still getting there. Let's go 2x speed. Wait for the lights to go green, and then it shows it is in the 100% closed oper operation. Just there. Then I can turn them off. There we go. When the light is green, the trap is clean. Excellent. That's all good. We're fine here. Everything's fine there. We're all reset there. We are still coming down in that. And we're just waiting on the external vessel to empty out completely. That should all be good there. Ooh. Inlet and the outlet. Still quite high, interestingly. We're not really floating any water through it. Double check now. That's right. AO is at 88%. And while we got a quick bit of time, I want to write these down. 1197. And we got, obviously, zero. 2756. Something's overpressurizing in the background. Uh, what was overpressurizing? Oh, the, um, this one, obviously. Come on, Sharpie, get with it. Writing down numbers, and then I completely forgot about everything. 2703, it's actually dropped a bit down, that's all right. 30.43. There we go, so that's pretty close to where we were. Even 12.29, that's fine. It's gone up from where we saw it just before. Bit scattered, but we got it. Just want to make sure I kind of get all of that in, and that's about 11.30. AM that was just for future reference in the future episodes. So there's that one. Electrogen group, external core. It's priming down as we speak. Should turn off any second. There shouldn't be any other pumps on. Turn that back off. That's all off. That's all off. We're all good here. Oh, that switch is in the on position, even though the light wasn't on. Is that what it was complaining about? Yeah, it was. The electrogen group is still not there. So, interestingly, we're at 13. So, I'm going to write these ones down, because I'm going to do a massive time skip in just a second. I'm sure of it. So, we got 13.06. We got a 0. We got a 30.55. And we've got a 2607. And then obviously a zero above it. So let's see if we can go ahead. Generator set must be inactive. I just don't, I'm not quite sure about that one. So let's get all of these going as much as we possibly can. And we shall accept that gonna skip a huge amount of time and I got to see how long it took I think we're on day four so wait does the time not actually 
skip it does for the chemicals as they're all at zero um but it didn't actually skip any time really maybe two hours because I remember it was like 11.40 just before we did it. Um, yeah, we're just about good as gravy here. And that did fix it. Excellent. Excellent. That's what I want to see. Let's just see if we can top this up a little bit. 33.65. I'm happy with that. We'll get this to my favorite value of the 32.50 that we start with in a new game. We'll get that in a second. I need to load the outer core vessel back up again. Which will probably need a valve open. Oh no. It doesn't need that valve opened. That saves a bit of time. If sometimes it doesn't allow you to do it, it's because you need that valve switch open right there to actually be able to do it. But that's, um, that's to fill... Actually, no, yeah, that's to fill this one. And then, obviously, it pumps in and up and in. Okay, cool. So, that's filling up. Waiting on this one. Might as well pull a vacuum on that. That'll get to value sooner or later. Everything should have fixed itself. I'm pretty sure that's just the fuel, the electrogen group. That's what would at least make sense to me. Um, I'm just really surprised that the time skip we did cancelled out all of this because I was expecting having to wait at least 60 hours to be able to do that. That should hopefully stop at about 3,200-ish. Probably won't. I'll probably need to go a little bit more than that. 15, 17, 18. Yeah, hopefully that should be it. Vacuum's coming up. We're dropping this back down to where we need it to be, which is good. We might even need to take some more out of it. So we can heat it up faster as we start the reactor up. Pretty sure it's not at critical mass. And yeah, that didn't change either. Interestingly, so we're still waiting for all the boric acid to be out of the core. I guess that's maybe what's stopping us from doing the core. AKA the electrogen, electrogen group, as that still shows zero reactivity. Interesting. 2969, nice. But we need just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. 9, 10, and off. That should be good. Turn the vacuum pump off, as that's quite loud. How much fuel did we burn? Quite a bit. Let's run upstairs and top it up. Ah, we're on level one, Sharpie. There we go. Okay, so it's got half a tank of fuel at least in it. Let's just top that back up. Excellent. Still got a little bit left in there. That's fine. Oh, it's in my backpack now. That's good. At least it's not on the floor. Um, yeah. Was not expecting that. Yeah, that's the pump that's loud. The uh, core pool pump, which is still filling it up nicely, which is good. 3088. Smidgen more. Smidgen more. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and... Oh, with the animation this time. Why not? 
I need to open up drain condenser valve. This one right here, just a little bit. And that should dump that out. Ever so slowly. I'll turn that off so it didn't open the valve all the way. And just let this drop by like 108 litres-ish a second. Until we where we need it to be. Quickly check how this went. 32, 31, 33, 65. That should be A-OK -okay as the temperature will transfer over to that one. As you remember, starting it with a little bit more might actually help us out in the long run. 100, let's not set that to 100. Let's get that down to there. And then all the way off, even though the pump's not on, so that's fine. It's emptying out. Just making sure everything is as good as gravy. Might want to open up... I think it's the RCV valve. I'm like 99% sure. Yeah, it is. And then I'll close that off because I only wanted about a thousand litres out of the core. I only got about a hundred litres out of the core doing that. That's alright. Just needed to do it a little bit longer. But yep, that's what I wanted to make sure I caught... And then close that. Wait for the light to turn green in just a second. Shouldn't take too long. And there we go. Excellent. Uh, let's open this back up again. Just a little bit longer. One, two, three, four. Off. Okay, yep. That should empty it out a little faster. And then let's close that now. That should mean our outer core vessel is full. That overpressurized. Yep. Let's turn this one to off, and then we can save our ears a little bit. And we didn't really take too much out of the tanks either, which is really good. 100%. Good, good, good. RCV. Turn that to off. That's all off. Everything's all good. We're all reset. Just need to turn the pressurizer on, all that good jazz. Batteries are fully charged. That's off. 116,500 almost at the perfect level. We should be A-OK. -okay. How's the boric acid going? Still kicking along? Yeah, that's pretty much what we are waiting for now. As that drops on down i don't want to start it up if this is too much and we're still not able to do that i think it's because we need to extract the core but then if we do that then it won't allow me to put the same core back in i'd have to put a new one in um, but it never gave me the non-critical mass message so it may have missed a tick in terms of the game in achieving that state and now it may not be nice i don't know we'll see how it all goes but um i think we may just about end it there as i'm just waiting for this to go to absolute zero and i can do that quickly off camera before we start the reactor back up and see how that goes in the next episode number 18 so make sure you like comment subscribe all that good jazz you know what to do and stay sharp till next time as always so yeah